All right, welcome back. We're gonna factor our trinomial. It's a very important lesson right here. Okay, first thing you gotta do well, is when there's no uh, coefficient or number to the left of the x squared, that's making life a lot easier. So the first step is parentheses, parentheses. Anybody can do that, okay? Now, by the way, you've already practiced using area models and God bless you, you can keep doing that or you can maybe check out this method, ready? So as soon as I do parenthesis, parenthesis, I do x and x because everybody knows x times x is x squared. And then this right here is the entire key for factoring as far as I'm concerned. I ask myself what sign times what sign will give me a plus. And it's plus plus or minus minus, okay? Since I have a choice, that's the only time I'm going to look at this sign. I'm going to do a, what's called a cursory look. Boom. Okay, it's a plus. So guess what pair we're going to use? Plus plus that is going to eliminate a lot of aggravation if you can get the sign squared away Now we need factors of 12 1 and 12 2 and 6 3 and 4 The majority the vast majority of the time the factors closest together will work not always but usually So 3 and 4 are my factors when I multiply I get to 12 so I pop them in there and then I do what is called the double happy face 3x plus 4x see that, that's why they call it double happy face 3x plus 4x is 7x. We got it. We're done. Let's look at this one. Okay. Again, what's the first move? Parenthesis, parenthesis. There's no coefficient. I love it. X and X. I'm looking at this sign. What times what gives you a minus? A plus and a minus. That's the only option we have. Now, some kids might say, well, could you put a minus and a plus there? You can, but I always put plus minus and I always do math and pencil or dry erase marker so I can easily erase because I know sometimes I actually might need to switch those. Well, now I'm looking for factors of 10. 1 in 10, 2 in 5. I could see it a mile away, okay? 5 in 2 is going to get me to 3. And where does the 5 go? Right there. Now watch. 5x minus 2x gives me 3x. We got it. Let's just, for sake of argument, now, I hate doing this with the whiteboard with the oils on the board. Anyhow, what if I would have put 2 in 5? Well, I would have had 2x minus 5x is negative 3x. I got the right number, but the wrong sign. Not the end of the world. Just change the signs. Okay. Now, if you remember, the last one had a plus here and a minus there, but also the 5 was here and the 2 was there. Okay, let's do another one. Parenthesis, parenthesis, x and x. I'm looking at that sign. Plus times a minus, so I put plus minus. Factors of 16, 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 4 and 4. Well, 4 and 4 is the closest, but I noticed they would just cancel out, so they'll never get me to 6. So I can see it's 2 and 8, and I need to get to a negative 6. So my brain, I've done maybe 100,000 of these over the years. I don't know. You just start to see it after a while, but let's double check. 2x, take away an 8x is negative 6x, we move on. Still no coefficient there, so these are pretty easy. x and x, okay, I'm looking at that sign, plus, plus, minus, minus. It took a cursory look, ooh, this one's minus, so I'm going with minus, minus, okay? Some kids, by the way, maybe look back up here. Oh, I'll just bring down the signs. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Right, so just don't bring down whatever signs are. that makes no sense. You got to look at this sign at any rate 1 in 20, 2 in 10, 4 and 5. 4 and 5 are closest together, but if I do negative 4 minus 5, then I'm going to get to negative 9. That's not going to do it. So I can see it's got to be 2 and 10, but I'm going to double check negative 2x, take away 10x, negative 12x. Now we get to one with a coefficient. So that complicates things a little bit. Parenthesis, parenthesis. Okay, I'm always, see the fact, first of all, what are the signs? What's going to give me a plus? Plus, plus, or minus, minus. So at least I know I got that much right. Okay, now this has multiple factors, one and four, two and two. So I'm going to try 2x and 2x just for the only reason they're closer together. Okay. Factors of 5, only 1 and 5. Well, it really doesn't matter because there's 2 and 2 here. So let's just try it. And then now you say a little prayer. Negative 2x, take away 10x is negative 12x. We got lucky on that one. Let's do another one. Parenthesis, parenthesis. 
Okay, what are the signs? What times what? Oh, it's going to be plus minus, right? Plus times a minus is a minus. So 1 and 4, 2 and 2. So I'm going to try 2x and 2x. Now 15 is multiple factors. So we got our hands full with this one. 1 and 15, 3 and 5. Well, I'm just going to put in 3 and 5. 6, take away 10. That ain't going to get me to negative 17. What if I did 5 and 3 here? Well, you're, well, let's just try it. 5 and 3, that's 10 minus 6. That's not going to get the job done. So how about 1 and 15? What if we put 1 and 15 in here? 1, 15. What is that? That's negative 30. That's not even going to come close. And you can see if I put 15 here and 1 there, 30, that's not going to work. So as you can see, it's, sometimes it's guess and check. However, once you do a bunch of these, you'll get the hang. You'll, you'll have seen it a while ago. So it can't be 2 and 2. It's got to be 4x and x okay so let's get rid of these numbers again i know i got the signs right so factors of 15 3 and 5 let me pop in 3 and 5 3x take away 15x is negative oh excuse me 3x take away 20x 3 minus 20 we hit home to negative 17 so thank the lord we <laughs> Okay, we're going to revisit some of these questions. Uh, I had a question in the audience. Was how do you? What do you mean about the signs? Well, again, we're looking at this sign. That's all I want you to look at. What sign? There's only two signs, plus and minus. We got that. What sign times what sign will give you a plus? Plus, plus, minus, minus. There's no disputing that. Since we have options, th these are two completely different things. I want you to look at that sign. Since that's a plus, we're going to go with plus, plus. But remember to factor, you put parenthesis, parenthesis. Now that I got the signs dialed in, I put plus, plus. Look at down here. Parenthesis, parenthesis. I'm looking at that sign. That's a plus. What sign times what sign? Plus, plus, minus, minus. There's two different options. So then I take a quick cursory look at this sign. Since that's a minus, guess what we're going to use? Minus, minus. Now, over here, I did it a couple different ways. So the first thing we did is got plus and a minus, okay? Because what times what gives me a minus sign, a plus and a minus, okay? So it's x and x, factors of 10, 1 and 10, 2 and 5. I'm going to put the 5 there and the 2 there, and I'm going to check it. 5x minus 2x is 3x. But what if I would have done this? What if I would have said... Well, I want the minus there and the plus there. That is perfectly fine. Why do I never do it? Because I do math the same way over and over and over, so it holds up under pressure. But is a minus times a plus gives me a minus? Yes. What are factors of 10? 1 and 10, 2 and 5. Well, if I put the 5 here and the 2 there, watch what's going to happen. Negative 5x plus 2x is negative 3x. I got the right number, but the wrong sign. Now, you don't need to dial 911 and you start erasing. All you got to do is change the signs. See, if I change the signs, I'm going to be back here. But I think in the other example I did, I didn't change the signs. I changed the numbers. So I erase and I put the 2 there and the 5 there. Do you see how these are identical? For I mean, commutative property says I could take this times this. It's the same thing as this times this.